fly girls and guys so today i am here with an epic thrift haul for you i think i have found my best thrift to date so like ever at least that's how i felt when i found it i just feel like it's one of those pieces that you absolutely keep forever um so let's get Started. And I'll save it to the end just to give you some suspense, but I do have some great finds along the way. One of which is this tie-dye sweatshirt. And I just love all the colors in this, especially with me doing my new like sportswear vibes and looks. I thought this was a great piece. And of course, I love that it has front pockets hood and drawstring. The next is a windbreaker jogging suit. So these are the red pants. Um, just regular with elastic and a side zip. I always love when they have a side zip. And then the coordinating jacket. So this is the coordinating jacket and it has shoulder pads, which I think I'll take out, but it's red, white, and yellow with the stripes on the collar. And that detail in the back. I think this will look really cute with my um jordan breads that i just got so yeah they're red and black and white and this is red yellow and white next is this i have been wishing to find one i had one like 2012 when i lived in atlanta um but this is just a maxi leather skirt with pockets it is too big so i'm going to take it to my seamstress to see if i can have it um altered to fit and it does have a slit in the back it is so good could not oh a slit in the front sorry <laughs> so good could not pass this up beautiful soft buttery leather then when i found that i found some leather pants some vintage leather pants um pockets again and they have a bit of a slight taper at the leg um only thing about these is that whoever owned them cut out the linings so all of the lining is cut out they are by pele um so i don't know why they did that but they fit really cute i always seem to attract camo so i found this um authentic camouflage army jacket and this one has spencer as the name and it has U.S. Army on that side and then on the same hanger with that <laughs> were some camo pants. Um, I told you I love thrifting camo pants. I feel like camo is something everybody needs to have in their closet. You can mix and match with whatever. That's at least how I feel. I feel like it is a neutral staple. Um, and these are size large. So the other ones I found were size medium. I feel like I'm in between um because these do have an adjustable tab as well but i feel like i just want them to fit like <laughs> a little bit different but they're not for stylish purposes necessarily they are for camouflage and militant um utilitarian purposes but yeah so i have another pair of camo pants and they do have that like that seat in the back next is this and if you were around when i was in atlanta i loved me some color blocking so when i saw this dress i was like oh yeah even though it's way too big it's a size 16 um but either i'll resell it or i'll just style it up belt it do something with it but i just love the color blocking of it and it's kind of fits like a tent dress the back is all purple um i would have loved it if it was color blocked on the back as well um, again, military, Air Force, green bomber jackets. How cool is that? And it fits so cute and like puffy, kind of boxy. It's just like the most casual, cool vibe. And then the icing on the cake with this jacket is that it is reversible. So you got the orange. And then you reverse it and you got the, I'm sorry, you had the green. <laughs> and then you reverse it and you have the bright fluorescent highlighter orange. And I was like, oh, no brainer, no brainer. So yeah, this is super cool. 
First up is this dress. And I think I either thrifted this or resold it. I know I've seen it before. Um, but it's this vintage wool dress. And this is like midi length. It has sequin detailing there. And then it has this deep plunging keyhole. Um, like I said, it is midi length, but it has this slit in the front. And oh my God, what a slit. Like the leg and the thigh are popping out. And it's form fitting, nice uh, fabric. Let me see exactly the content. 70% acrylic, 30% wool. So yeah, it is a wool blend. Um, very unexpected, very sexy, but true vintage, classic piece all right so my battery died and I have to finish filming this right now I charged it a little bit but the Sun is about to set we got to get through some things so next I found this navy blue sheath dress and this is by Lands Inn and I got it because I'm doing something <laughs> and I have to wear certain colors um, yeah, and they said blue was a good color to wear and just like plain sheath dresses basically. So I found a blue sheath dress. It's not picking up that well here, but it is a 10 and I liked it because it's a tall, a 10 tall. Um, and it does have the pockets which are not unsewn. So I thought that was cool and it just really lays. It looks super professional too. So this will be just something great to have in my closet for like meetings or interviews or anything like that um i thrifted out more of this gap jacket oh my gosh and it's navy blue too so if i wear that dress i could wear gold and she could wear this jacket it's so freaking cute it looks so cool especially with the collar pop and these just like hanging open with the gold buttons oh my god it's adorable and this is by gap kids all right next i got this trench coat and I have been like willing myself to find um like the perfect trench coat and I think I found it like this ticks off all the boxes it's by Cyclone and it's a trench coat and it has like the epaulets here and it also has like the belt on the sleeve um and it has this here and I love the buttons um the only thing is that it is missing the belt but it'll just have to do so i really love the shape of it it is a slimmer fit so i couldn't wear like a chunky um sweater underneath it so maybe i'll get find another one that's like better for the winter but this would be great for the spring time so i will culminate <laughs> um all of this with showing you what we are here for, which is my fave thrift find. I literally think ever. I literally think ever. Um, so I actually saw it on like the go back rack by the fitting rooms one day. Um, I was just moseying, moseying around random thrift store and I saw it on the go back rack and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So without further ado, this is it. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So it is a leather, obviously, like a moto jacket. And it's by Excelled. It says Excelled since 1927, made in the US of A. Um, it says size 14. Ladies, look at all of this fringe every freaking wear and it is in beautiful condition like i can't even and then it has the belt around the waist i mean it is a statement the first day i wore this out i wore some black leggings i went to um aldi grocery store and this man hit on me he said he just loved my jacket <sighs> But it is so amazing. And I'm not going to do a try on haul today. I might show y'all these later. But the sun is setting and I'm tired. But I at least wanted to show you this. And it really fits 
quite perfectly. I know this isn't the best, but <laughs> yeah, it is so amazing. Like I feel like I hit the jackpot and the icing on the cake is that it was $10. $10. It even has the tabs up here. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I see this in a movie, a music video. Like, people literally pay hundreds of dollars for these, for the vintage ones. I mean, and I think, what is it, Acme Studios? They do, like, some leather jackets, but vintage is the way to go, especially for leather. Like, it wears so good the history like just the wear of it because you can wear a thick leather like this like you can wear rain sleet or snow and it's not going to harm it it's only just going to make it even that much more like warning in that feeling but yeah guys so this is my favorite my best i feel like it's my best thrift find to date as far as clothes and as far as like cost I mean, and I found a Chanel dress that I resold. So if that tells you anything, like, I just value this so much. As far as something that I'm going to keep, like, I don't see myself ever getting rid of this. Like, I feel like this is going to be, like, one of my signature pieces. And I don't get that, like, attached to clothes. So who knows? I might, like, leave it somewhere just because I love it so much. But... I just feel really accomplished by finding this. Oh, and my shirt is thrifted. It's, it's like that old Gap. It is Gap, but I feel like they came out with the turtleneck. I don't know if anybody remembers, like in early 2000s. And I had a turtleneck, and I just love when I happened upon like this print. Um, Cause they did these so, so well. But yeah, I thrifted this, there's a better color. I thrifted this also so yeah that will conclude my thrift haul because I got to go tend to the kid but I wanted to show y'all my favorite thrift of all time so let me know what you think especially about the leather jacket and I will talk to you later